So going back to my great grandparents, they immigrated here from Holland and they were farmers. Um, they had a really dynamic farm at that time. My grandfather was raised here and my father and now me and my son. So my son will actually be the fifth generation. Through my dad's life, he had a dairy operation going with the rotational crops, um, really traditional crops in the 70s and 80s. And then that started to turn more towards what we see now. My mom took over the farm when he passed in 1997. In the last 23 years, um, we've been renting it to a family friend who's been doing soy and corn rotation, as you really see in the typical conventional farming. And this is the beginning of a whole new transition to go towards what we've been kind of dubbing as conservation farming. After my former career gallivanting all over the world, I came back and I enrolled at NWTC in the Sustainable Agriculture Program, knowing that I wanted to figure out what we could do with the farm, but I needed some guidance. So after you know continuing my education, I started going to different events through NRCS and the SARE programs. And my mom is also on the county board in the conservation department, so I would tag along to that. And I kind of ran into the same circle of people. And through that partnership with Julie Hagar, Julie Peterson, I started to learn more about the conservation aspect, which was super alluring to me. And I met Patty two years ago, and I was really excited when I met her and found out that she had 90 plus acres that she wanted to restore in conservation. And really what ended up working out was just sort of blending several different programs together in order to get the entire property into some sort of wildlife habitat. And a lot of our programs emphasize monarch, uh, pollinator. So that's basically several wildflowers, 12 different wildflowers or more and we also wanted to have tree plantings. And so through three different programs, CSP, EQIP, and CRP, we were able to make that all, all happen. So our final plan was a blend of what we thought was going to be best for the wildlife, what was going to be most aesthetically beautiful, what was going to be most practical to take care of for the landowner, and financially feasible as well. Right now we are in uh, October of 2020, and by May of 2021, we're hoping to have the entire uh, 90 acres planted into monarch, uh, prairie, uh, wildlife, tree plantings and shrubs. And it'll be really nice to be able to utilize the entire property as a really big backyard for not only our kids, my family, extended family, but then also invite the community to come out and to partake in some educational events. This is really gonna be an oasis for all that wildlife that likes those grassland habitats. This is one of those projects that conservationist standpoint, this is exactly what we're looking for, this type of landscape um, to make that, that big block improvement. Thank you.